What is up guys, this is your man TOD Crab Man. I'm here with another fantastic video, yeah! And today we are talking about the new unique class skills that they gave us a sneak peek to for Bless Unleashed. Each class already has two unique, unique class skills, Crusader, Sport Guard, and Shield Throw. Rangers take aim with the Tempest Shot and Reload. Mages power up and amplify and concentrate. Berserkers harness rage and shoulder slam while the priests stand firm against darkness with sacred ground and retribution. Soon as alternative will exist for each of these abilities, take a look at the current planned additions below. Players will be able to unlock these new abilities at level 30. To unlock an ability will require skill points. However, changing an ability out will require 100 star seeds. That's actually not bad. Just... Just only needing 100 star seeds to change it out and uh, the skill points, you know, to unlock it. But I would imagine once you unlock it, like, and you upgrade it, it will keep those skill points in, in that. So you'll probably have to grind out some skill points to upgrade both. But it's still, it'll be nice. So the Berserker is getting two uh, pretty new ones that are seem pretty good. Um, Bloodthirst consume all fury, uh, fury to restore HP and pull all nearby enemies into the Berserker's range. Excuse me, the amount of HP restored increases depend on how much fury is consumed. Short dash, quickly move over a short distance. You become immune to most attacks for a short period during this movement. And then uh, the new passives are there as well. Um, you can pause the video and read them for yourself. And then if we come down to the Crusader, they get Judge of Heretics. Slowly consume your belief to increase attack damage. This effect lasts until your belief is expended. Piercing Shield. Throw a shield that damages all enemies in its path, traveling up to 15 meters. Not bad. Here's its passives as well. You can pause it here if it helps. Okay, the Mage has uh the new frost arbor now personally this is one of my favorites ignores damage from enemy attacks by covering yourself in ice during this time you cannot move or attack consume all mana crystals to uh, severely damage the enemy as well as um it will consume um uh, pretty much all your mana crystals uh here's their passives as well Moving on to the priest. Weakening earth, corrupt the earth, and damage enemies within an area for 20 seconds. Uh, it's probably going to be a new AoE attack for them. Um, heavenly wings, damage nearby enemies, then teleport 10 meters backwards. I think that's kind of interesting because now the priest will have a teleportation ability. Um, it's 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 weird, but I it'll be fun and cool to kind of check it out and see what happens with that. Here's their passives. And moving to the ranger, they now get the extended claws. Kick enemies up to three times. The final attack performs a knockback. Uh, and then flashing arrow fires an arrow charged with light that explodes on impact stunning and blinding affected enemies so this is kind of like that boss and uh near the, the null waste uh the archer down there that shoots multiple arrows with multiple um he shoots one that flashes and then multiple balls that um blow up onto you um i think you're gonna get something around like that which will be really cool um here's his passives as well or her passives. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so they put down here on the bottom, the team is actively working hard on the upcoming update, so specifics may change slightly at release. Stay tuned for more information about the Soren Deception coming next week. So um, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually intrigued by what, uh, what they're coming out with. This will definitely 
help people give a little more um, detail and be a little more unique with their play style. And I, I think this is pretty neat. Granted, I still think they need to work on their enhancement systems and still work on their game rather than keep coming out with uh, new material. But at least they're trying to do both um, from what I'm seeing so far. And um, I just wanted to say y'all are doing a good job with the game. At the moment, um, you guys are doing okay. This isn't bad. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. And we will see you all next time in the next video. Please hit that subscribe button and comment down below. Let me know what you all think. And hit that like button if you learned something new and you haven't seen this already. See you all next time. Peace.